I understand. The only thing I had a problem so with take, was take my suggestion and to the trash. I'm just going through emotions. I snapped. I might not see Tato again. It's the 11th main theory. Well, that's mm. what I call it. Drama in Piggy's house. You guys should bring it on. We're all here waiting for this. <laughs> Okay, so there's been so much drama going on in Biggie's house. <laughs> but one of the most interesting dramas that we've experienced um, lately in the house is the altercation, or rather, the cold beef, the cold war that has been going on between Venice and Tabby. And guys, I'm not gonna lie, uh, this is like so expected. <laughs> so, guys, in this video, I'm going to be talking about. Four different conversations that actually happened um, in Biggie's house and the first conversation I'm going to be talking about is the fight that happened between Venice and Tabu and then guys afterwards we actually saw Venice venting and then there was a diary session and I'm definitely going to be talking about specifically Gashon's diary session and Tabu's diary session <laughs> and guys the third conversation I'm going to be talking about in this video is the big 11th hour theory, 11th man theory lecture <laughs> that Temba actually had with her, with his girls. I mean, you guys, Ntabi and Paul looks like they are Temba's bestie right now. And it looks like Gashwan is already joining in that picture right now. Um, I'm going to be talking about that conversation. And the first conversation I'm going to be telling you about is the midnight gossip that happened, okay, semi-midnight gossip, night gossip, not midnight now, the gossip that happened between Libo, okay, not gossip, guys, let's call it conversation. The conversation that happened between Libo and Tools about Mpo and a little bit of Venice in that conversation. Guys, <laughs> if you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. Um, in here, we talk about reality shows. If this is the thing that you're kind of interested in, then subscribe um, by clicking on the red subscribe button right now so you don't forget. And turn on the post notification bell so that you always get a lot of my video every time I share new content. If you're already a family member, thank you for stopping by once again as we talk about the big, uh, big issue. So guys, literally, um, I mean, Tuesday was a lot of work. I mean, this housemates literally had about two different tasks they did today. We saw them like do a lot of things and it was quite interesting to see them. And then there was this very, very interesting um, task that they had, the drawing part. It was looking interesting now while they were having this task guys venice was literally having it up to here with interview snapping at her every now and then and guys i really did not understand that uh, snapping until interview got into the diary session like literally after that snapping we saw venice like leaving going to the garden going upstairs picking something going to wash coming back talking to herself like i was like ah, what's happening what's going on <laughs> I don't know, but that Venice is such a softy. I mean, I wish you could just get hard in the beat. I mean, <laughs> right now I'm missing Akeja in the house. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. So basically, um, when we, the diary session was actually where we had um, Tabby's version. That Tabby's version is she's just getting up to here with people like Tools, Venice, um, and I think Terry. She said that whenever they make a decision they feel like everybody they everybody's obliged to listen to their decisions they do not table their decisions like something that they should be working on but rather they feel like they should impose um, whatever it is that they're doing so literally Tabby gave some very flimsy excuse reason why she snapped but you guys <laughs> one of the reasons one of the things that Tabby said that made me realize that this babe still has serious beef in going was when she said this <laughs> i'm not over it because I don't let go of issues easily. Tabi literally said that it was not over. Like, like it felt like she was going to be preparing herself for another <laughs> strong war. And literally, I, I'm at this point. I'm, I'm just going to be asking you guys: Who do you think? What do you think is causing this problem between Venice and and Tabi? Because. I literally cannot believe that it's just the rage attacks that they're working on that is making them snap at each other, or rather, and Tabby snap at Venice. And guys, if you haven't noticed, um, I've I've said something earlier before. I said it looks like Venice is actually playing a game with the boys. Um, if you don't know, let me tell you a bit about it. Saturday, you guys noticed that there was this kissing session between Venice and Temba, and actually, Temba actually confronted Venice, asking her, "Why did you kiss me?" And then she said, "She was just a thing of the moment. She just wanted to. She just acted, you know, on for the moment." And 
at that point, you know, I had shared an earlier video saying that this kisses between Venice and them by the same kiss we saw between Venice and BU. So I started thinking about it a bit and I think I thought about it a little deeper because sometimes I can be an overthinker. And then I was like, okay, maybe this is a strategy. And guys, now Themba and BU were not the only, okay, Themba is not the only person that Venice actually ended up kissing on Saturday night. Venice actually kissed Gash One, guys. Like Venice actually kissed Gash One, guys. So I think, personally think that um, one of the things that Ntabi is having a problem with is maybe she has discovered or she found out that there was some kind of mushy mushy thing that happened between Venice and um, Temba and basically that is why she's literally just giving her that girlfriend beef, you know that girl beef, <laughs> that's literally what I feel. I don't know if I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section. This is just my version of maybe what is causing the Cold War between these two because literally, guys, <laughs> we saw Venice and Tools have a conversation, very lengthy conversation about what's going on. Venice was like venting. She was like, the energy. And then she said she heard something and Tools was like, what did you hear? And she said, she said it was whispers. It's not as if she heard anything. So in my head, I'm like, are you sure Venice is not also hallucinating? <laughs> Like, maybe she should also walk up to Ntabi and ask her, what's the problem? Like, basically, I felt like that. I was expecting her to actually do that. Because I know who now, I know if it was Tato, Tato would have walked up to whoever to say, are we cool? And probably then. So, according to Ntabi, she's going to be trying to, she said she would, that one of the options she was looking at was um, to keep her distance. But because it's going to like not make her her authentic self and she's going to try to see how she can talk to <laughs> venice and guys i swear i'm very sure if that talk happens it's going to talk to a fight <laughs> so it better not happen from tabby maybe if it comes from venice maybe Tabby might take it down a bit but i don't know when i don't know i'm just going to watching them now anyways away from this guys venice and tabby we actually saw king themba we actually saw the ghost himself we actually saw dracula <laughs> Having this very, very interesting conversation with Tumpo and Tabi and guys, Temba was actually exposing his 11th man strategy to them, telling them, you know what, you see this thing called love, I'm not interested. You see this thing called giving, feeling, emotions, blah, 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 and anything love language, I'm not interested. I let the person do it. If the person do it, does it very well, that's, I'm talking about partner now. If his partner does it very well, then he just follows through. And guys, I'm not going to lie. One of the reasons why I feel Temba's actually giving that lecture is because of interview. And Ntabi being the Ntabi that she is, you guys, I don't know, but me, I'm sensing that there's going to be a fight for Temba very soon between Mpo and Ntabi because you guys know Temba has an eye for Mpo. If I, right now, Temba is confusing all the girls in the house. I know Temba has an eye for Mpo. So my thought is, why they were having this conversation? Was Temba trying to like soften the ground, wet the ground, so that maybe they can start reacting towards him in an affectionate manner and then he takes a move? Like, I mean, you guys know Ntabi has been taking that step i'm talking about um Mpo now so i'm just feeling in my head like what's going on here anyways that was quite interesting and guys i'm not gonna lie one of the other interesting diary session we also had was a diary session of Mpo actually telling biggie that she and vino had some sneaky sneaky moments that they whispered that vino said that he would have loved to get to know her but because of terry blah 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 i'm not gonna lie i know it's true because you guys even on saturday we actually saw Vino, while they were having that conversation with um, Nali and I, I know, Sister Mara, we saw Vino blowing kisses at Zumpo. And that is one of the reasons why I'm even very angry at because she would have pursued this guy. She would have prepared Terry for me. I don't know why, why Mpo, Mpo, see, I don't know, but there's a game I feel Mpo has to play in that house, she's not playing, and it's actually getting me very, very upset. So away from them, we actually now saw um, this real conversation that was really going on between um, Tools and, and Libo. And guys, I'm not going to lie, one of the very strange things that Tools said was when Tools said this. Guys, listen. But whenever it's being spoken of, I'm gonna be here. Yeah. <laughs> so, guys, let me put, keep put you through on the conversation. The conversation was going on between Tools and and um, Libo, and the conversation was that boy is giving you cold shoulders, that he's so uncomfortable with the negative energy that Mpo is exhibiting, blah 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 blah. And then um, Libo now said something about Venice. Said she had a strange dream 
that in that dream that she said that everybody's going to be against them go in the house blah 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 and then at that point guys that was when Tools told Libo not to ever tell Venice about this again and guys at that point you guys Tools and Venice are close friends they are parties so if Tools can actually tell Libo not to tell Venice this again are you thinking what I'm thinking like if Tools can actually tell Libo not to tell Venice this again guys then then there's something Tools knows that we don't know I don't know if you know what it is but I am gonna try to figure out what it is and I'll definitely definitely come back here to tell you guys what's up <laughs> but literally guys that was just most of the conversations that happened it was really a tax day this housemate actually had to go to bed on time because the stress throughout the day was really stressful we saw um tools and Nali give them some very interesting food chips and salad anyways guys that was literally everything that went down on tuesday the whole of tuesday um this is just a recap of everything that happened on tuesday so guys this is it um of course i'll be back here and you guys stick around and i'll see you guys in another episode of personality highlights so now ciao ciao